is a very famous series. One plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six, etc., up through a hundred. Oh yeah. Yeah, now, I'm sure. sure you know this story. Oh, Gauss, yes. Gauss. Gauss, yeah. Incredibly brilliant. Yeah, like in third grade or something. Important German mathematician. When was he alive? The 18th century. I think he was born like 1777 no, I, and died wow, in the 1800s. Wow, could be. I, I looked yeah. it up. Oh, all right. All right. So here's the story. That when he was nine years old, something, something like, like that, that yeah. his teacher was trying to keep him busy because he was such a precocious little guy. And the teacher said, why don't you add up all of the numbers, all of the integers, sorry, between 1 and 100 inclusive. No calculators. The teacher's thinking, all right, this is going to at least eat up, you know, a good 20 minutes. Sure. The story goes that moments later, seconds later, Gauss had the sum. How did he do it? Okay, you guys, pause that video and try to come up with perhaps a way that you could find the sum of all the integers between 1 and 100. And get back to me. Yeah. What's great is that Gauss could actually do it. Even then, it was faster than if he had a calculator. You cannot Absolutely do fine. it with a calculator as fast as this method. You're right. You're right. So what he saw, and maybe what you guys saw, is, hey, if I take the first and the last and add those up, that gives me a sum of 101. Then 2 plus 99 is another 101. And 3 plus 98 is another 101, etc. So he didn't have to add up all of those separately. He just had to add up how many 101s there were. Well, let's see. How many 101s are there? Well, there are 100 terms. But he's not going to multiply by 100 because they are pairs. So he divided it by 2. So it ended up being 50 times 101, which gives me a sum of? 5,050. 5,050. Yeah. Isn't that just brilliant? That is brilliant. Yeah. Sure. And when you see it, of course, it makes sense. So what Gauss pretty much discovered was a shortcut that we now can use to add up a series that might be too big for us to add by hand, okay? Now, what type of a, a series is this? Arithmetic, geometric, what would you say? I'm Mr. thinking Hunt? that's uh, arithmetic. Arithmetic, yeah, sure. yeah. So, here we go. Basically, what Gauss did is he took the first term, we can call that a plus one, a sub one, he added it to the last term, which we'll call a sub n, he multiplied it by the number of terms there were, which would just be n. And then he divided it by 2. This will give me the sum of any arithmetic series. Pretty clever. Isn't that yeah. fabulous? Sure. Now, it has to be an arithmetic series. It has to be one that has arithmetic pattern, but that will work every time. So even if you were like counting, if you're not, you're not counting by ones, let's say, can, yeah. we, can I make up one there? Yeah, So let's, let's say it. you're counting by fives, let's say you're starting like five, ten, let's do a short one, just to make sure it works. Okay. So let's do like five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I mean, that's enough. I just want to see if this thing actually works. Fantastic. All right, All right here we go. So I, have, I have my doubts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and how many terms do I have? That's four terms. Four terms. Right. Okay, my first term is a? Well, five. Five. Four. My last term is a? Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. And I'm going to divide by two. So let's see, that gives me uh, 25 times four, which is 100, divided by two. This should have a sum of 50. Let's see. Let's see if it does. 15 plus 15 30. is 30. 50. Oh, yeah. ah. It works. Oh, okay. All right. So as long as it's arithmetic. You're good. So all you need are these ingredients. You need the number of terms, you need the first term, you need the last term, and you're ready to go. Now if I, in fact, gave you this, I probably wouldn't bother to do this equation to find the sum, but I'm glad we did it just to see that it works. But this 
is available to you if you want to find the sum. Okay? And in a minute, you're going to practice these. All right. Well, there's got to be one for a geometric series. We don't want to leave them out. The geometric series is a little trickier to derive, so I'm not going to do it here. But if you're curious about it, come ask me, and we'll, we'll talk about it. OK, so give me a geometric series, Mr. Haas. Oh, I don't know. You make up. I, I don't know. Right. I, 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 want it, I want it to come out nice, so you better do it. Uh, let's see. Times, let's multiply everything times 3. 18, 18 times 3, 54. Yeah, see, that's, right, why, we're that's, stop why, there. that's why I wanted you to do it. Come, <laughs> come up okay. with something messy. So not, here okay. is the kind of shortcut to find the sum of a geometric series. Okay? So it's the first term. Okay, times, and this is a little weird, and again, we'll, we'll derive it next class. First term times 1 minus the common ratio raised to the number of terms you have, all divided by 1 minus that common ratio. Not at all intuitive. No. Not at all intuitive. No, Gauss but didn't do this till he was 10, I he think. He did not right? do this not until he was Certainly 10, right? above a nine-year-old, I think, <laughs> in terms of, yeah. Exactly right. All right, so let's just see that this works. So if I wanted to find the sum of that geometric series, I would use the first term, which is 2, 1 minus, OK, I have to figure out the common ratio. Well, 2 to 6, multiply I multiplied by 3. By three. N is the number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four terms there, divided by 1 minus your common ratio. OK? So then you can obviously get your calculator out if you need that. Let's just kind of figure this out. So 3 to the fourth, that's 81, divided by negative 2. That's going to give me a, uh, are you still with me? It's like crawling over here. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving the camera. All right. All right. Negative 80 times 2 is negative 160 divided by negative 2. That gives me a sum of 80. Should we check that? Sure. Let's see. We have. Yeah, that works. I'm going to do 60. Six. Oh, yeah. It's doing the same thing. And 20, 80. Beautiful. Yeah. Terrific. Okay, so sometimes you have to do a little bit of work. You have to find the first term. You have to find the common ratio, the number of terms. But, uh, but once you have those, then you're ready to roll. All right. Okay, thank you, Mr. House. You're fabulous. Perfect.